Hi, I'm Audrey, and this is my friend Natalie Wood joining me today. Say hi, Natalie Wood. Hi, Natalie Wood. <laughs> All the movies we're reviewing today are more than 40 years old. Wow, that's old. I know. Thanks again to Cosmic Oasis for letting us film here. They have lots of cool stuff, so stop by sometime. Now I'm going to review that darn cat. <laughs> you said darn. Watch out! There he is. Oh! From Walt Disney. It's Walt Disney's hilarious new comedy motion picture, That Darn Cat. That Darn Cat is a great movie, both suspenseful and laugh out loud hilarious. Happens in on this hapless victim of a kidnapping. Held captive by this bumbling pair of riotous rat finks. When this especially naughty cat gets himself into a crime, it's a make it or break it situation. Gets tagged with a timely SOS for help. Then Haley goes underground to become a self appointed super agent for the FBI. Touching off the giddiest game of gumshoe a go go that ever bugged the trail of an undercover cat. That darn cat. This is an amazing movie that the whole family will love. Federal security. Kelso, I want you to set up a surveillance and tail this cat. Tail the cat. There he goes. What? Haley Mills does an awesome job, as always. I give this movie four stars. Watch out for that darn cat. It's a cataclysmic comedy riot from Walt Disney. That cat. Now, another review. This time it's The Great Race. What was that one about, Ryan? It was about a race around the world that was, well, great. <laughs> Tony Curtis is brave, of course. But he's never been as brave as this before. Jack Lemmon, funny, <laughs> naturally. But never so fantastically funny as this. Men chasing Natalie Wood? Not surprising, but never so frantically before. Tony Curtis sparkles, and I mean it. He plays the great Leslie, who is an amazing escape artist who enters the, a race around the world in the early days of automobile time. No one has ever been as great as they are in the world's greatest comedy, The Great Race. It's the greatest. It's the gayest. It's the wildest. It's the funniest. An exciting movie that the whole family will be sure to enjoy. From New York to Paris, a rambunctious, rib-busting riot of a race. Its high points only outrun by the hilarity of what happens in between heats. He had to deal with an evil guy played by Jack Lemmon and his assistant played by Peter Falk. Natalie Wood is the only female in the race. It's loads of fun and has the world's greatest pie fight. <laughs> They'll lead you a merry chase on land, under the sea, and in the air. You'll never stop laughing once you've started the great There's race. There's one mild reference. See what I mean? Parents, please go to www.commonsensemedia.org. So, Ryan, who's taking on the 90-second challenge this time? Our very own director, Paul Ramsey. This should be very fun. Hey, Paul. Welcome to the 90-second challenge. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here's the question, and you just have 90 seconds to answer. What is your favorite and least favorite part of editing, and why? Editing. OK. Um, editing is the way that you tell a story, you know, from footage that either you've shot or other people have shot, if you're just the editor and not the shooter, too. Um, so um, you can manipulate scenes or things very easily by just moving a few frames and so trying to find the right place 
to make the cut to the next part of the scene or make the cut completely to another scene makes it to, uh, to um, um, you know, um, changes the flow of, of the video or the film you're working on. So sometimes, um, you know, with video, there's 30 frames per second. With film, most films, it's 24 frames per second. So there are 24 or 30 in that one second. So sometimes even moving things three or four or five frames can easily um, change the way it feels. You know, somebody could have made a reaction or something like that. For example, like when you're watching uh, reality shows, it would be a good example of uh, where people change editing, you know, and, and they'll do that. Um, sometimes you'll see somebody do something on the reality show, and then somebody else will show a reaction, and then, but that reaction may have been shot you know, um, hours later, but they edited it in to change the flow of it. And that's kind of how that So, um, you know, it, editing is always so a... a lot of times, you know, even during when movies... people are editing a bunch, you know, it becomes a real... <laughs> so, Paul, what was your favorite movie as a kid? Um, probably... My favorite movie as a kid was Snoopy Come Home. I always loved that movie as a kid. Um, you know, especially when Woodstock and Snoopy are, are whistling down the street. My favorite movie of all time as a kid. In case you're wondering why we're dressed this way, I'm reviewing an Audrey Hepburn movie, Funny Face. I was kind of wondering why we're dressed this way. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Fred Astaire and Audrey Hepburn team up to make this cute and happy musical. I want to step out down the Champs-Élysées. Do some window shopping in the Rue de la Paix. That for me. Bonjour, Paris. An ordinary librarian meets a photographer, and they meet in the most unexpected, odd way possible. This photographer transforms an intellectual girl who thinks fashion is silly into the next big model. It's the story that can only happen in Paris, behind the scenes in the exclusive fashion salon. I give Audrey Hepburn five stars as always, but I think the plot was poorly formulated and, well, just strange. That you should it also lacked reality, and the chemistry between Audrey and Fred wasn't that great. Although I do like this movie and want to like it more, I was a little disappointed. Overall, I give it two and a half stars. Now time for What Do You Think? So, what's the question this time, Ryan? What do you think will be a classic 40 years from now? Well, I'm going to have to go with all the Toy Story movies. Me too. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Well, there's really only one way we can end this episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the 90 second challenge. Eh. All right. Toy Story, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's a totally good one.